Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is Therapeutic Thursday, and I just got out of the shower, and I haven't even combed my hair yet, and I thought, you know, I'm going to use a couple of products, and I'm just going to sit down and just do a little therapy here. So, anyhow, I have a problem with really fine hair, and it tangles really easy, and of course I use conditioner in the shower and hair masks on a regular basis, but I still need extra conditioner and so I like to use leave-in conditioners on my hair when I'm getting ready to comb it out and it helps kind of control the flyaways and so this one right here from R and Company RNC high dive moisture shine cream I'm gonna use that today and this is a leave-in conditioner and so anyway you just work it in through your hair that's been child dried and and so I'm just gonna take about that amount right there and focus most of it through like the bottom like from the nap of the neck down because that's where I get most of the tangles at so I'm just gonna kind of just finger this through the hair and and then just I can take whatever's left over on my hands and just working it at the top and then I'm gonna try to comb it out and then get it out of my way and um, for those of you that are new to my channel, I had a hair growth experiment a couple years ago and my hair was uh, just to the tops of my shoulders and I had bangs and let me throw this away. And so anyway, I've got um, a, a series, a playlist of videos where I used uh, cold pressed pure castor oil on my hair to um, help promote hair growth. I had read on the internet that that really helps and so I just wanted to try it and see and so for a few months I did that and my hair grew like over an inch a month and I documented my progress and so if you want to see that playlist um, I will um, link it in the cards for you where you can get to it and see it and everything it was really interesting to see, you know, just how uh, uh, an oil, which, I mean, is used in, you know, in other countries, other cultures, by a lot of women, you know, on a regular basis. Women who already have long hair, but they're just trying to take really good care of their hair, and, um, you know, they just keep it conditioned really well. And I probably could benefit from some of that oil today. But anyway, I haven't used it in a while when the experiment ended ended I barely had used up any of the product out of the bottle and it was after it you know if it's I think the it only was good for like a year or something so anyway I had way more than what I needed and so I got rid of it and uh, but I'd have to like buy another bottle but anyway I think I would for this go around I just to condition my hair, I may use like coconut oil or maybe some argon oil or something like that, or maybe even olive oil. But anyway, you can see just my hair is thin, it's fine, and I do, I am suffering from hair loss. I don't mean, I don't have any bald spots, but it just seems like the older I get, the thinner that it gets. And I mean, you can eat right and take vitamins and take supplements and put all kinds of stuff in your hair and you know but if it's something that's genetic or due to you know just g growing older or hormone lo you know loss or just just a general change in hormones you know there's really not much you can do about it anyway <clears throat> it helped my hair grow faster but it didn't uh, and I did have new growth, you know, that was promoted um, at the hair follicles, you know. But as far as, like, getting, like, way thicker and stuff like that or stop um, the, you know, stop the uh, hair loss from happening, the oil did not do that. So, anyway, I've just had to kind of live with it, but... I'm at a place now where my hair is really long. It's down to my waist, and I've been cutting it on a regular basis just to trim the dead ends and all that off. And, you know, there's quite a bit of breakage because I wear my hair in a ponytail all the time, and it breaks at the 
you know, at the nap of my neck and it breaks off just due to split ends and stuff. But I will say this, the oil did, um, you could wash it out. You, and when you used it, you know, you could wash it out just a few hours later or the next morning or, you know, however long you decided to keep it in your hair. But it seemed like the when I quit using it, the more that I washed my hair, the the lighter that my hair became and all the grays really started showing up so anyhow the oil uh probably wouldn't make that big of a difference for someone who had really dark hair but for me my hair's like a dark blonde or a light brown whatever you want to call it it used to have some red in it but now that uh i'm older the 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 red hairs are turning gray and so my red hair days are pretty much over it was like a strawberry blonde or like a coppery kind of a brown but it was real light it was like a blondish coppery brown it's hard to describe it it was just a really unique color my hair is but right now it looks more like a mousy brown or a light brown than anything else okay so I'm just gonna put on a little headband and I'm gonna do a mask so let me just get my hair out of the way for right now and so anyhow I wanted to use this mask today uh, from Peter Thomas Roth it's a cucumber gel mask it's a peel and it's um, for hydration and detoxifying and I have never used this one so I wanted to do this today as a part of Therapeutic Thursday. Now some people don't like these kind of products, but I do. And I've, I've seen good reviews everywhere all over the internet. So I've got this like spatula and then I'm just gonna like smooth this on. And uh, I just hope it's not gonna hurt. Sometimes peels hurt. And this may be the kind of peel that doesn't like pull your hair, but it just, you know, it's got a really soft texture to it and it doesn't like, like dry down like glue. I don't know, I've never used it. So I'm just gonna try it out and see. as an experiment today just like a first impressions that way I can I'm gonna try to stay away from my eyebrows and just grow up the top of my forehead and get my nose a little bit on my nose Okay, that feels pretty good. I'll just use what's left over on my nose here. And it's kind of a light green color, but when you put it on your skin, you can't really see the green as much as you can when it's in the, but the container's green also, so. But you saw the gel on my, on my little spatula here. All right, so let's see. Let's read the instructions here on the back. I was supposed to, it says rinse after 10 minutes with cool water. So this is a rinse off mask. This is not gonna be a, um, even though it's called a, a cucumber gel mask, it's not gonna be a peel, thank God. Anyway, it says refreshing, cooling, moisturizing, calming gel helps soothe dry, irritated skin with extracts of cucumber, papaya, pineapple, and aloe. That sounds wonderful. So the back says this ultra gentle gel helps soothe, hydrate, and detoxify dry, irritated skin with botanic, botanical extracts of cucumber, papaya, chamomile, pineapple, sugar maple, sugar cane, orange, lemon, bilberry, and aloe for all skin types. Apply a generous coat on clean skin. Rinse after 10 minutes with cool water. Use two to three times a week or daily. 
for external use only. So PeterThomasRoth.com. So anyway, that's the first time I used it, and there's a bubble in there. But anyway, you can, let me just turn it upside down. Let's see how much I used out of it. I may be able to get at least one more use out of it. Maybe two, who knows. Hmm. Trying to get the bubble out of it. Well, that was not a good idea. I just squirted some more out. Now I gotta find a place to put it. <laughs> Cause I don't want it to go to waste. I didn't put him right here, did I? And I'll just put some underneath here. Oh yeah, this just feels so good. It's so cooling. So since it's a rinse off and not a peel, I don't really have to worry about any peach fuzz or, you know, any of that. But I don't want to get it in my hair, that's for sure, because I just washed my hair. And I wash my hair generally about twice a week, sometimes every five days. But it's hard for me to use dry shampoos because my hair is so fine and dry shampoos have a tendency to weigh my hair down. And so by the time that um, my hair gets um, feeling that, you know, that kind of like there's enough grit or dirt or however you want to word it uh, in my hair to warrant the need for dry shampoo. And then once I add the dry shampoo, then my hair feels really um, heavy and it, it separates. It gets real stringy looking. You know, and it looks oily, even though I've used dry shampoo on it. And so, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it feels. And I'm like, what's the point? You know, I might as well just wash it. And so, I usually just, you know, when it gets to that point, I'm just ready to shampoo my hair. So, I, I shampoo my hair uh, once or twice a week. Most of the time, it winds up being about twice a week. But occasionally, it's just once a week. Depends on, you know, what I'm doing and... How much I've sweated and you know all that stuff so anyway so I'm just gonna let this sit here for a few minutes and then I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm gonna come back on camera and I will finish up the video and we'll do a little skincare and I'll just talk to you some more so I'll be I'll be back in a few minutes all right everybody I'm back and I washed my face and it feels really soft and cool and uh, it feels really clean it has a um it feels kind of like it almost has like an itch to it so i'm going to put some moisturizer on real quick and go ahead and get some more hydration on my face so i'm just going to go in with the clinique uh dramatically different moisturizing lotion and this is for combination skin this is the third step in a three-step care system that Clinique offers. So I just put a couple of pumps of that and I'm just gonna go in and my skin is so dry and that's the only reason that it feels kind of itchy. <clears throat> and then just take whatever's left over on my hands down my neck. Okay, so my skin's in pretty good shape. I may add a little facial oil here in a minute. But for right now, let me get some lip balm on. And uh, this is what I happen to have handy right now is Carmex. And I love this stuff. I use it all the time, especially at night. But because I am so diligent, with keeping my lips, you know, some kind of balm on my lips. My lips never get dry and crusty, you know, and I'm really glad about that. So, all right. So, now what I want to do is I want to just put on some lotion. And again, I've got some body lotion here from Peter Thomas Roth. And this is a deluxe size sample that I've had for a while. And this says um, Mega Rich Body Lotion with Vitamin C, E, and Pro Vitamin B5 
for a soft, smooth, nourished, moisturized skin. So I'm just going to put some of that in my hands and and um, just put some of this on my hands and rub what's left over onto my elbows and just get some hydration going here. I find that if I put on lotions and creams and stuff as soon as I get out of the shower, you know, within that first hour after getting out of the shower, then they seem to um, last longer and do better and hydrate my skin better. And they, um, you know, they lock in, you know, any moisture that's from the shower. So, okay, so I got two products that I used from Peter Thomas Roth today. And I have another one. It's a hair conditioner. It's in my travel bag. I haven't used it yet, but I need to. I should have tried it today. That way I could have reported back to you all on all three of these. But anyway, I am going to add another hair product. This is a Moroccan oil treatment. And I just have a little 10 milli milliliter size here. And it only takes just a few drops of this. And I'm going to primarily just focus on the very tip ends of my hair. And so I'm just going to get a couple of drops and I'm just going to put those right there on the pads, my fingertips. And I'm just going to go right in with these like bottom um, four or five inches of hair here. And just rub that oil in those ends and try to protect them and just get that um, hair follicle to close up and lay down and help prevent any more breakage. So I've used all kinds of oils on my hair. Used argon oil. That works really nice. I love dry oils too for shine, but this, this type of oil right here saturates the hair and gets penetrates through the hair follicle to get down in there to really help it out. So anyway, I don't blow dry my hair as a general rule. And I just leave it to air dry and it seems to keep it from, you know, the flyaways do better. I have a lot of flyaways. The older I've gotten, the finer and the thinner my hair's gotten. So I probably should cut it, but I just thought a few years ago when I was letting it grow that it would be nice to have long hair one last time, probably before I turn into an old lady. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's why I do that. I just like my hair long for right now. But, it, you know, when it gets long, like down to my waist and it starts wrapping up underneath my armpits and stuff, it kind of bugs me. And so I cut off a couple inches and then, you know, we go again. All right. So that moisturizer has sunk in pretty good. So let me see if I can find another facial oil here or some kind of another product. Um, let me try this cream. This is the... Uh, Sorosi Spotlight Eye Cream. I'm just gonna use a little eye cream here and go around the orbital bone and up and around. And down in through here to where I have those circles showing signs of aging. So just use a little eye cream. And this seems pretty nice. It's a 10, 10 gram size. Um, got this in my Ipsy bag. So anyway, I've been enjoying it. Just trying it out. Eye creams are really rich. Sometimes if I, my skin feels really super dry, then I'll take an eye cream and I'll just use it as a moisturizer. Wow, that feels so good. 
All right, now let me just use a facial oil. Let me use this oil right here today. This is the Go-To Face Hero, a powerful and protective face oil. And the back of the bottle says, this is good for all ages and skin types, even sensitive skin. It will deeply hydrate, revitalize, soothe, and, uh, and what does it say? And tell dullness and uneven skin tone to buzz off. Okay. It will not tell very good jokes at dinner parties. <laughs> That's funny. Have you ever heard of any product having a statement like that on the packaging all right so I'm just gonna go in with like three or four drops I'm just gonna put like go over all four of those fingers right there with a good size drop on each one and just rub this in and I'm just gonna press this in on top of that moisturizer and it smells good it's not like a highly fragranced oil, but it does have a very pleasant scent. So I'm just gonna go over those places that I just laid that eye cream and stuff moisturizer down. I'm just gonna go and take this down on my neck and my decollete. And so, between the hair care products and the, and the facial products, what few I used, and then these the hand lotion and this whatever oil is left on my hands, you know, I just go ahead and rub that in to my cuticles. And then I'll go in here in a little bit and do my nails. I need to paint my nails. I haven't painted my nails in about a week. And I've taken the old nail polish off and let my nails uh, rest for a couple of days. And, uh, but they, they need to be repainted again. So I'm going to do that this evening as well while I'm in this self-care mode, therapeutic Thursday mode. But anyway, I'm going to stop the video right here and get this uploaded where I can get it to you all tonight. And I just wanted to share this, um, with you. Uh, this is Wednesday evening on the 3rd of June and th I'm getting this ready for tomorrow, which is therapeutic Thursday. So anyway, if I, um, upload this and edit tonight then I can post it tomorrow so anyway and I'll leave a list of the products down in the description below I uh, just want to thank you all for watching subscribing clicking like commenting just the general support of my channel I really appreciate it I haven't posted a video in a few days but um, I'm gonna get back in the swing of things and do some unboxings and you know get maybe do a tutorial or something like that. So anyway, just stay tuned. Make sure and subscribe so you can get my future content. God bless you all today is my prayer. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.